Ladies and gentlemen, it's Devin Townsend again. That's right, back again in the basement of Rock Hard Studios yet again, like I was the last time, and the time is going to happen after this, bringing to you another snippet of the rock and roll dream. Today's installment involves hearing protection, earplugs, ladies and gentlemen. Now, let me just tell you this. As a professional musician, we make, and when I talk about we, I'm talking about the royal we, I'm talking about me and Ziltoid, we make our living listening to music, getting to the nuances of every particular frequency that brings these sonorous sounds to your heads. Now, if you don't protect your hearing, I think it's, what's the level? The sound pressure system is measured in decibels, and I think, oh, 60 decibels is like this type of conversational, you know, about this level. And then I think as we get higher to about 80 decibels, it becomes more like this. It's not bad for your hearing, but it's certainly getting a little troublesome. And then when you get up to 100, oh, a sector, I can't go that much higher, because it had, ultimately the decibel system ends in jet plane sounds. And as manly as I am, I'm not a jet plane, in this world at least. So the point of this is if you don't wear earplugs, then your ability to hear those nuances that you want other people to connect to those emotional experiences that you're trying to represent through your music, it's not gonna happen. Protect yourself, protect your loved ones, protect your investment, ladies and gentlemen. Wear earplugs. Do I wear earplugs? Absolutely not. In fact, I don't think I've worn earplugs on more than, oh, seven occasions live for very specific reasons. Number one, because I'm such a thrashing, sweaty, heavy metal man, my ears sweat, and one always falls out. The problem with one falling out is the other one stays in. And I don't want to have people know that I'm actually reaching for an earplug. I'm looking for making this sound, you know? This, this kind of, this is a sound apparently in Canada. So when one falls out, as soon as I get off stage, I'm deaf in one ear. So I figure, ah, you might as well just not wear any. That's the logic of me. Now, the thing is, when I go to bed at night now, ladies and gentlemen, as a result of years of traumatizing sound pressure levels and monitor men that have this button, I think conveniently located underneath their thumb that says feedback in the monitors, I go to sleep every night at this point with the sound of someone frying bacon and another person blowing a rape whistle. That's right. So how do I combat that? Oh a fan, plus the voices in my head allow me just to override that with the screaming and the constant need for, what did we talk about last time? <laughs> That's right, validation. So yeah, to summarize this, ladies and gentlemen, wear earplugs because there's a good chance that you're smarter than me. This has been Devin Townsend, enjoy. <laughs>